Well, I should around 945. The crews finally showed up. You can see they're working on the tree behind me. Something residents on Wadsworth Street has long been waiting for. But before, if you were driving here, you definitely wouldn't miss this tree because it was tilted so low to the ground, it was only being held back by power lines. Now, earlier I spoke to many residents here who wanted to know why Eversource did not take this down sooner. It should have been cut down a long time ago. Maria Barrio says each day when she walks out of her apartment, she checks to see if this large tree is still standing. The tree bark cracked in half, tilted, power lines holding it back. But Barrios is afraid another storm will hit and this tree will eventually fall to the road or hit the senior home across the street. And if what happens, all that storm comes and knocks it down for good, blocks the street, we will be out with no power. It was just today Governor Ned Lamont delivered this letter to Secretary of the State Denise Merrill notifying her he has terminated the state of civil preparedness emergency that he declared two weeks ago for Tropical Storm Isaias. Fox 61 reached down to Harford Mayor Luke Bronin's office about the tree and we were told they were not aware about it until we asked. The city called Eversource and we were told someone would be on Wadsworth Street today. Rafael Roldos was visiting his grandmother at the apartment only to almost get hit by a car because of the tree. Today as I was going by that down that street, the Wadsworth Street in Hartford, uh, the tree was definitely closer and the car almost hit me head on um, due to trying to speed, speed by the tree. Um, and I had to beep the horn for him to literally see me. And the last thing he wants is for someone to get hurt. Before it wasn't on the power lines, now it was on the power lines. Next thing you know, it's going to be on the floor on someone's car. Now back out here live, crews are here working to cut down this tree that has been like this since the storm. And we're not sure how long it'll take the crews to take down the street, but do expect them to be here for the remainder of the night. I'm live in Harford, Carmen Chow, Fox 61 News.